send you their ideas and and hopefully you enjoy them and contribute to their learning experience. Um, so you wanted to say something? Yeah. Hey, hello everybody. Good night. How are you? Yeah. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Thank you today. Hello, Mike. Hey. How are you? Good. Where do you guys want? Right over here. Yeah. yeah. Right over there. Okay. So a big hand for Mike that was a professor of the week this week. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. So, I'm really happy to have all of you here tonight. Uh, this was uh, like, all of your business was an idea that started a few months ago when we were here at Holt. And it was basically to encourage all those entrepreneurs in the whole community to get out there and make the most that they can do of this intensive year at Holt. And be able to pitch their idea and if it's possible at the end of the year, start their own business and, and really live the experience of a, every entrepreneur. So entrepreneurship, for all of you that are here, you must know that it's more, it's a lifestyle, it's a mindset, right? We live this every time in, in our life, in our home, in, in, in each process that we see, we seek for evolution, we seek for make things better, right? So I'm really proud of all the teams that are here today, and I would like to give a big hand for them, please. So they have been preparing uh, through a really intensive year, finance, we did it today. Uh, final, uh, I hope we get over it. <laughs> and well, tonight, we're gonna start, uh, we're gonna start, let's start our pitching contest where one of the teams are going to be able to to participate in the university incubator. So I want to welcome William Buster from University Incubator. Please, a big hand for him. <laughs> Paul Campbell from Net Impact. <laughs> Mike Benedetti for Stoutwater Capital and Paul. <laughs> and Ariel Poller from Best of Angel. Now Guillermo is going to give you more details about the event and how are we going to to run start. Thank you, Gustavo. I think you did most of my work. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, so start is that today we're going to have six teams that are going to present their business, and we have a panel of judges that Gustavo already introduced, and so. There's not much that I can explain more. <laughs> you got so, go into detail. <laughs> yeah. That's, oh, wait, that's, uh, I'm gonna present to you Oliver, that he's gonna talk to you about the big uh, scope of the whole venture group. Oh. Thanks, Guillermo. Just quickly, so I'm Oliver, uh, I represent the Halt Venture Group, which is the platform for entrepreneurship here at Halt. And um, yeah, I'm also very proud of, of all the teams and, and all the, the people from outside of the health community who are here now. Um, I think there are two things about health that uh, I think are remarkable. One is the international community, and the second thing is that's a very entrepreneurial school. I think health, I, I think it's fair to say that health it, itself is a startup. And uh, I think our community here of students are very entrepreneurial. So that was the reason why we this year said, okay, we have to create some process that can leverage both of these strengths, and uh, that is our uh, that is the result of what we did. So we have uh, a couple a series of events uh, that build on each other. Uh, we created that and executed that this uh, this year, and um, actually we are here at the final stage. So what we had is is tool up, which is kind of a workshop series that introduces people to. Uh, essential skills they need in the entrepreneurial field, such as uh, you know, how do I um, do how do I do sales? How do I do as a startup? How do I create web pages and, and all this uh, stuff? What hands-on stuff everybody needs? And then really, what 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 the next level was was our startup bootcamp uh, called Build, which was in January, 
and we had 120 people here. We had over 20 uh, teams formed on this. Uh, actually, it was a one and a half day event. And uh, the 16 presenting, they are the they are the crown of, of this event. So I think it's fair to say that uh, without the boot camp, none of uh, the teams would be here today. And then today, then start, which is the next level. Obviously, once you created your team and you. Um, well, got some customer traction, refined your ideas, then you're ready uh, for real judges. And, um, well, I mean, obviously there is a lot, there's a whole journey after that, and uh, all of you guys know what the journey looks like, but I think top level event, what we created and executed uh, beginning of uh, this month uh, called Jump, is dealing with, uh, with the end of the food chain, sort of. Once you've grown successful as a startup, um, and then you're ready to jump to a different region how to internationalize, how to globalize your venture. And um, yeah, that's that's our program, and our goal is really to create uh, sustainability behind that, also with the help of all you people from outside, with the great network uh, that is supporting HALT and the HALT venture. And with that, I would like to thank everybody for being here, and uh, let's get started. <laughs> agenda. Um, I, I think the teams know the, the order we're going to do the presentations, but um, it's going to be Humanity Futures uh, first, Family Mango second, Festival third, Stop, Talk and Roll, fifth, and Nevada, that's. Well, we already presented the judges, so let's <laughs> continue on. So let's, um, I'm going to present William, which is part of uh, our partnership with, with um, University Incubator. And he's going to go through um, his presentation of, of his company. Yep. A little bit about Jesse. He recently launched a book uh, called Lifestyle Entrepreneur and it's a selling book uh, in Malaysia, Singapore, and Asia. And a little bit about myself I started my first business when I was 13 and I've gone on to sell it. Uh, so we have built University Incubator starting with Kiva. Kiva, if you have not heard about that, is a nonprofit based in San Francisco. Uh, they have generated over $330 million in loans since their inception. And what they do is they support entrepreneurs across the board. More recently, they've started a venture called Kiva Zip, and what Kiva Zip does is they fund entrepreneurs here in the United States. So if you look at Kiva and their historical model, they have been supporting people in Kenya, and a little bit about myself, I started my first business when I was 13, and I've gone on to sell it or start several businesses since then. Uh, so we have built University Incubator starting with Kiva. Kiva, if you have not heard about that, is a nonprofit based in San Francisco. Uh, they have generated over $330 million in loans since their inception. And what they do is they support entrepreneurs across the board. More recently, they've started a venture called Kiva Zip. And what Kiva Zip does is they fund entrepreneurs here in the United States. So if you look at Kiva and their historical model, they have been supporting people in Kenya and very rural areas, whereas Kiva Zip now is focusing here on the domestic market and supporting our entrepreneurs here in the United States. So how does Kiva work? Well, Kiva has over a million lenders, getting, getting bigger and bigger every day, uh, and these lenders have visit the website to go and see the overall entrepreneurs out there and what overall loans are available. From there, they can make a minimum loan of $25 or fund the loan in its entirety. Uh, Kiva historically has loans that range between $500 and $1,000 our loans are a little larger. Um, and from there, uh, these loans go into MFIs, or microfinance institutions. The example provided here is Action, they're a Kiva partner, and the overall process to become an MFI is pretty hard for 
very in depth. Uh, and then these loans are distributed from that MFI, or from Kiva to the MFI, and then from the MFI to the entrepreneur. Now Kiva Zip, which is who we've partnered with, is going to be the uh, overall platform that University of Tibet has been built on. Um, and they're a small pilot project that was launched in December of 2011, so they are a startup themselves. Uh, and what they do is they allow uh, the funds to be uh, distributed directly from the overall loan, or the overall people distributing the loans to the loan recipient. Or there's no intermediary similar to the MFI. So the way they actually source these loans is through trustees. And that's what University Incubator is. We're serving some people who go and source these loans, bring them to them, and put them on the platform. Just two years, and just two years, they've had over 100 loans. As of today, actually, it's 625 loans. They have over 100 trustees, and they've done just over a million dollars in loans. An example of how it would look on the website is similar to this. So you have Victor. He has an overall coffee shop located in San Francisco. There is going to be an overview that has details about his business, who he is, and what makes him eligible for a loan. The endorsement, which we would actually write, and then the overall repayments and lenders that flow into that. The cool aspect is you can reach out to friends, family, and also your social networks and be able to source loans for this. So what Kiva has built on is, is called crowdfunding. Um, so what's in it for the borrowers? The borrowers have the ability to access 0% interest loans. Uh, there is no fees on these. It's easy and it has an online application. Uh, there's flexible loan terms. And I think what the most important aspect is is you're building a community. So when you look at this, you look at starting a business, how are you going to be able to acquire users? Well, if people are investing in your company, for instance, a $5,000 loan with a minimum of $25 loan increments, you're going to have a sizable loan base since then. And from that, you can go and reach out to these 125, 200, 300 people who end up making loans to you, and they're going to be your most ardent supporters. They're going to be the ones that are going to try out your product, your service, and they're going to want to see you succeed. Even more importantly, if you build a good rapport with them, you're going to have the ability to go and approach them again at a later point in time for larger amounts of capital. So what are trustees? Uh, so what University Incubator is, is we are a overall entity that is sourcing and finding loan recipients. So people who are going to be presenting today, our overall candidates, are going to have the potential to join our program, and they have the opportunity to post a loan to these websites. But we provide more than just uh, overall no access, or no finding, zero interest finding these loans. So what's in it for the trustees? We can empower, engage, promote, I think I'm speaking on behalf of my partner and I when I say that our true passion is entrepreneurship. Uh, Jesse has built a business around actually going and inspiring entrepreneurs, which he receives money for. So this is his way of giving back, building businesses and helping people pursue their dreams. Looking at the loan overview, uh, currently we're doing three to $5,000 in loans, uh, depending on the overall needs of the business, with the potential of going back to the well after loan, the loan is repaid for 50K, or up to 50K. Uh, zero, zero percent interest loans, you can do between six to 24 months in terms of the loan size. There's grace periods available for those who are just starting up. So for instance, if your business has been in, uh, in action for the last year, you're actually generating cash flows, you wouldn't be considered a startup, so you wouldn't be eligible for the grace period. However, if you're just starting up, the grace period is something you should totally take advantage of. And they're typically about six months. Um, and then the overall borrow, borrow criteria, what we're looking for. So the assessment portion is pretty, pretty self-explanatory. We're looking to find reputable uh, businesses that we think are going to succeed and can benefit from University Incubator. Uh, the minimum requirements, uh, your income ratio needs to be uh, less than 35% in terms of the debt that you're taking on, which hopefully that would happen for most. Uh, the borrower cannot have over $3,000 in past due debt. Uh, the loan must be less than 75% of the borrower's income. Uh, that's our MBA, so I think $3,000 might be might be an overall possibility for you. And um, beyond that, you can have uh, filed for bankruptcy and those sorts of uh, requirements. So looking at the process for endorsement. So first, we would write an endorsement for the people we've met with. Typically, we've met with them several times before this. We have a good feel of where their business is, where they want to go, and where we think we can help them grow. So for that, we would actually write an endorsement on the Kiva platform. The overall recipient would receive an email, and then they would fill out the loan application, which is a series of questions, goes into the financial backgrounds, and the one requirement is that they need to have a PayPal account, because that's how the funds are distributed. 
uh, from them. We're able to review their loan application to make sure there's no grammatical mistakes, it looks clean, and they're presenting themselves well to the overall Kiva public. And then there, it actually is posted to the, to the website, and they typically fund in about three to four weeks. However, our last loan funded in less than 10 days. Um, there's some success stories out there. Uh, we have our current portfolio, which would be a photographer based out of USF, and then we have Fast Blueprint, which is based in Berkeley, and there are students who are basically trying to create a social component towards creating a class schedule. So looking at that, you know, all of try to put together a class schedule, as I'm sure before, it'd be really nice to be able to have one stop, a one-stop shop where you can see what courses your friends are taking, the books that are going to be needed for it, and then the overall course uh, rank data behind that. How the, how the professors give out grades, how well they're ranked amongst peers, etc. So try to keep it brief. Uh, Feel free to email me any questions you may have. My email address is william at universityincubator.com. And uh, thanks for your time. I'm really excited to be here today. Thank you.